Hey guys, this is Eskimo Poodle, and we're back to let's play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time on the Nintendo 64. Last time, we checked out the graveyard, took part in the heart-pounding grave-digging tour, got ourselves a piece of heart out of it, that was very nice, and we learned ourselves a song that turns it from daytime to nighttime, and vice versa. We also got a wallet upgrade from the Gold Skotula house there, so that was really nice. And today, we're going to go ahead and do more side stuff, like some of the mask stuff, and some more gold sculptures, because we can get, like, I think five or six of them right now, including one right here that I forgot about. On the ladder. Yeah. Shoot it with your slingshot. You're good to go. And that's the first one we're going to get. Uh, after this, we're going to go back to the mask shop. And then most of the other sculptures that we can get, like other, I think, five or six, are in either the Lost Woods or... Uh, Kukiri Forest. So, we'll be heading there momentarily. We tried heading in here, right? They just didn't let us in. Oh no, it's still empty, that's right. It's, it's just that guy. Alright, let's go ahead and head on out to Castle Town and go from there because that's where the mask shop is. And we'll go ahead and let the, the sun just rise naturally. We're not going to manipulate it at the moment, so we should be okay. There's no real there's no real need to unless we have to wait too long outside the gates. Which I don't think we will. And anyway, you guys just spawned immediately, huh? Luckily, they're not terribly fast, so it's not anything terribly dangerous to worry about. Just keep on ignoring these idiots here. And... It's not daytime yet, so let's just go ahead and make our lives easy. Turn it back into daytime with the sun song here, and we're good to go. Yay, it's daytime already. That was nice and easy like. Uh, while we're here, let's see if we can't grab this other red rupee, because, oh, why not? Don't want to fall off. There you go. That worked out great. That was totally worth the half a heart of damage that we took out from it. I can totally deal with that. I'm curious if the Hylian Shield discount from talking to the guard will make the shield much cheaper or just like slightly cheaper because originally it is 80 rupees, I do believe. My current hot seller is the Helium Shield, but it might be too big for you, kid. Yeah, it is. Okay, so... No, it looks like it's still 80 rupees, so we don't get that big of a discount. At all. Or any discount at all, really. Uh, let's see... Do I have bugs in my bottle? Because we're going to need bugs. Okay, good. Matter of fact, I think you can buy bugs over here, but I'm not terribly worried about it. Because we can get bugs over at the castle if we really need them. I might just drink the milk and get another bottle that way. Hello. Hey! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you'll become happy yourself. Have faith. Okay. Uh, let's see... A mask is a C button item. Set it to C, press C to wear it. If you talk to someone with a mask on, you might get a reaction. If anyone is interested in the mask, he or she will ask you about it. Someone may want the mask. Somewhere in the world, somebody is waiting for these masks. Just have faith. Okay. So, the Keaton mask. Price, 10 rupees. Keaton stuff is hot, hot, hot. Okay. I want to borrow the Keaton mask. You borrow a key to mask, wear it with C to show off. You'll be a popular guy with this mask on. 
Okay, so notice how we didn't actually lose any money from getting the mask like that. The way the masks work is you don't pay for them, you borrow them, like like you said. And then eventually you're gonna find someone that wants it, they'll offer you a certain amount of money. Because Link is a mute bastard, he can't tell them, hey, this mask is X amount of rupees, so they'll give you what they think it's worth. Sometimes they'll give you more, and when you go back to the mask shop, you'll get a small profit out of it. Like, say, for example, you sell... Let's say, for example, you sell a mask for 20 rupees and it only costs 10 rupees, then you get a 10 rupee profit out of it. If you sell a mask for 5 rupees and it was worth 20 rupees, you got to pay that 15 rupees out of your own pocket. So there we go. Uh, it's... It's a pretty easy system to figure out, so it's not too bad. I hate foxes. Yeah! What's your problem? I guess nobody likes these masks. Hey, kid. Can't you see we're busy? Leave us alone. Okay, they don't care at all. What about you, Beardy? A mask. When I was a little kid, I also wore masks around. What? You say you can't imagine me doing that? Not really. How you doing there, Prancy? Come here. A mask. Okay, you're saying the same thing. Okay. Uh... What about this creepy little kid that I don't think I ever talked to? Stop that. Oh, wow, it's Keaton. Hi, Keaton. It's a Keaton mask, huh? Oh, hello there. How are you? What? Have we met before? Not that I'm aware of. Not you. I'm talking to the old lady. Or the, the young lady. Wow, how nostalgic. That reminds me of when I was a, sh a little kid. Okay. So, everyone's talking about how they wore this mask as a kid, and the guard was saying his kid wanted a mask. So, that should be your clue, if you have, if you don't know where to take the mask to, that this is the mask that you give to the guard. So, let's go ahead and do that. And you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and meet you over there, just to make life happy. Alright, let's go ahead and put on our mask and talk to the guard here. <laughs> You think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask. If you don't mind. Will you sell it to me? Uh, sure, why not? That's the whole point. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. <laughs> you sold the 10 rupee mask for 15 rupees. You earned a little profit. Nice. Let's go to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of 10 rupees. So yeah, we're going to get, uh, the guard gave us 15 rupees, and we only got to pay back 10 rupees at the, at the uh, mask shop, so we gained 5 rupees out of the whole deal. Not bad. Not bad at all. Not like the best thing ever, but hey, it's there. Uh, I went ahead and drank up the rest of my milk and grabbed the more bugs, just in case we need them. Because, just in case I'm too slow at picking up the extras. Uh, let's see. Let's see what happens if we actually attack the chickens here. Because, why not? We all know what happens in any other game. Oh, wow. That was fast. Yeah, they just come after you. Uh, they don't do as much damage as, like, uh, the Link to the Past or whatever. Or maybe they do. But, yeah, they don't, they're not as good at hitting you, so we're reasonably safe. I think they eventually calm down and stop dive bombing you, though. So we might be safe after a little bit here. We'll see. But you know what? I'm about to die, so let's not. What? Ah? Okay. Yeah, let's, uh, let's not. And anyways, I will go ahead and meet you guys back at the Happy, Ma Happy Mask Shop. All right. Oh, great, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the kitchen mask now. Payment received. And look at that, he has another mask. A skull mask. A horned skull mask. That's pretty cool. Uh, yes, I want to borrow the skull mask. Thank you. You, you're, you borrowed a skull mask. Wear it off a sea to show it off. You feel like a monster way you wear this mask. Oh, you haven't sold the mask yet. Just have faith for a little, little while longer. Or do you want to trade it for another mask? No, I'm good. 
Let's go ahead and see if we can't fi find out who this goes to. Um... There's two possible choices, but I don't remember which one it is. Here, let's talk to you. Oh, okay, oh, I guess they all say stuff about, you know, the kids stuff, I guess. Sorry, I'm busy right now. You don't care. Okay. How oh, irritating. Okay, everyone's irritated by, by the mask. That's unfortunate. Oh no, you're scary. Don't come any closer. Sorry, I'm busy right now. Okay. What? What? Have we met before? I guess not. Okay. Oh no, you're scary. Don't come any closer. Uh, this is either... Okay, I think I actually know where this goes. Uh, let's go ahead and take it off. And also, I need some help, don't I? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, so I do believe this goes to... Kokiri Forest. So I'm just going to go ahead and meet you guys over there. I'll be right back. Alright, we're back in Kakariko Village at night time, and there's a couple more Skulltulas that we can grab while we're here, so let's go ahead and grab those. I think there's two. Uh, starting off back here in back of the Know-It-All Brothers house, if we can, you know, get around, that'd be great. There is a Skulltula right here, so let's grab that. There you go. Perfect. And then there should be a patch of soil that we saw earlier over by the item shop. Awesome. And while we're here, we're also going to be able to pick up two pieces of heart and a capacity upgrade for one of our items. So that'll be reasonably nice. i got to remember where the capacity upgrade is, but we should be able to do it. All right. Let's go ahead and drop a bug out here. And catch one. There you go. Go on in there, fellas. Perfect. Nice. Okay, there we go. Two gold sculptures, easy enough. I'll take it. Okay, and let's go ahead and put something we're not going to miss terribly much on the bottom slot there. And now we're off to the woods where we have more stuff to grab. Uh, while we're here, I think we can go ahead and grab some five rupees. Ta-da! Awesome. What are you worried about? Saria said she's waiting at the usual spot. Oh, she's talking about, uh... If you didn't know where to find Saria for to get her song, she's hiding out at the same place where she... The... The, like, the little maze area. I guess that's, like, a clue as to figure out how to get there, but... Yeah, I don't know if that's, like, a really great clue or not, but... That's a clue, I guess. It's a clue. Okay, so we got a couple things to do in here. Let's go ahead and head this way. And we want to go ahead, now that we have an ocarina... We could have done this a little while ago, actually. Uh, we want to go ahead and... Get up here and pull our ocarina out. Follow along with our song on your ocarina. We'll lead in. We'll lead you into it. Okay, so we have to copy what they did, and I think if we do this three or four or five times, something like that, we get a heart piece out of it. So down A, down right. Yeah, you gotta you gotta copy them for a little while. Down A, down right, left. So they never change the first couple notes. They just add on to them. Down A, down right, left. There you go. 
That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Green rupee. Okay. Uh, let's play again. I think you gotta do this like uh, three total times. Up, left, up. There's no time limit on this, so if you want to take your time and write down the the notes, it's fine. Up, right, up, A. And this is why I wanted to wait to do this uh, until we got the adult wallet, because, well, this way we get more money out of it. And we can actually hold the money. Up, right, up, A, down. Or up and left, I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I messed something up there. Oh, I think I pressed right instead of down for the last one. Oh, well. A right, left. A right, left, down. Okay, easy enough. A right, left, down, right. Okay. A right, left, down, right. There we go. A right, left, down, right, A. A right, left, down, right, A. So yeah, they do get a little more complicated here. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Okay, cool. We got a blue rupee. And then we got to do this one more time, which I'm probably going to write these ones down since I don't have the best memory for trying to find all this stuff. So make our life easy here. Let's play some more, yes. I think it should be the last one we have to do. Down, up, A. Alright, so... Down, up, A. Down, okay. Down, up, A, down. Right. Down, up, A, down, right. Yeah, I think it's going to be like eight notes or something right, like that. Down, up, A, down, right, left. Down, up, A, down, right, left. Down, up, A, down, right, left, up. And these are all randomized, so you can't just, like, uh, follow what I'm doing here and hope for the best. Let's see. Oh, I guess that did... I guess you do have a time limit on that. Son of a bastard. Okay. One more time, then. Musically inclined, I am not. A... A right down. A right down. A. Up. A right down. A up. A right down. A up. Well, they're being real nice with you, giving me a bunch of A's. A right down, A up, A. Alright. 
A right down, A up, A up. Okay, one more. I hope I don't mess up on the last one again, because that would just really suck. A right down, A up, A up, A. Yeah, it was a pain in the ass. That was quite a nice session. As a token of our friendship, please take this. Yeah, we got ourselves a piece of heart. Nice. That is bueno. Cool. I like it. Now, there should be one more area to go check out with... Uh, in regards to... Let's see, that's where we came at. Is it down here? No, I gotta... I gotta figure out where this other area is, because... It's been a while since I've been there, so I just gotta remember where it's at. Okay. So, let's go... No, that's just where we were. That right here goes closer to Sorry, I do believe. I think we're maybe we have to go to the left then. Okay, not here. Uh, this is where we're going to be momentarily. But for the moment, we want to head over here, I think. There's another Skulchula. There you go. Got that. Hurry up. Yeah. There you go. Alright, got ourselves another skull chill out of that. Awesome. I love it. And yeah, there's a ladder here so we don't have to worry about, you know, being stuck here or anything like that. And there's that roll in action where we don't take any damage if we're if we roll from a high enough distance. Okay, let's go ahead and put our Deku shield on because I don't think we can actually reflect this guy's nuts as as is, unfortunately. I surrender. To make your quest easier, I can enable you to pick up more Deku sticks, but it'll cost you 40 rupees. Uh, sure. Thank you very much. Yeah, now we can carry 20 Deku sticks. Really nice. And he's even nice enough to give us hearts in case he actually damages us. Very nice. I like it. Very friendly. My favorite type of friendly. And make sure you have your ocarina equipped because we need it to talk to this little fella right here. Alright, so stand on the stump. Take out your ocarina. And then play Saria Song. Uh, up, left, right, up, left, right, I think. No, that's it's the bonus song, never mind. Um, I think it's Saria Song. That's not quite Saria Song. Okay. In that case, Saria Song is. I forget off the top of my head. Down, right, left. Okay. Do, do, do. Listen! You know Saria's song. We should be friends. Here, take this. And because we know Saria's song, we get a piece of heart. Yeah. With another piece, life energy will be powered up. Awesome. Okay. Uh, there's one more thing here in the forest that I want to find out. We will be coming back and talk to this guy momentarily, but for the moment, I do want to find something else. Problem is, I gotta remember where it is. Let me see. Let me see if I can't find it real fast. Okay, so let's go into the forest here, and then it looks like we go right, and then we just take a whole bunch of lefts. So go in here, and then left, left. No. Left. 
Unless I took a wrong shortcut here. Maybe I... Oh, I think it's uh, right, left, right, and then and then a whole bunch more lefts. Okay, yeah, so now from here, take more lefts. Okay. So, left. Left again. A whole bunch of whole bunch of business scrubs here. We're gonna talk to these guys. I surrender in return. I'll sell you Deku nuts. Uh, and no, I'm good. I already have plenty of Deku nuts. Thank you though. Yikes! I'm going home then. Oh look, another sculpture. What do you know? Right, got another sculpture here and. There's still more to do in this little area. There you go. You took a while to pop out there. Thank you. And as for you there, sir. Try it again. There you go. Fantastic. Alright, you win. In return, I'll sell you Deku Sticks. Now, I already have a whole bunch of Deku Sticks because when you get an upgrade you get a maximum amount of that item, so I'm fine. Okay, cool. Now, if you run around in this little grassy area here, eventually, you will find the butterflies and you will find a hole. Now, what you want here is you want to have... you want to have your mask, or a mask, from the Happy Mask Shop, because you can get stuff out of it. If you, uh, if you wear the mask in here, you might get stuff. Let's see here. Forest stage. We're waiting to see your beautiful face. Win fabulous prizes. Okay. So, with this mask right here, we put it on, and we stand here. And apparently they really like it, because they're all dancing around us. Cool. That's pretty neat, I guess. Uh, that's a big bush. All of the young Deku Scrub brothers agree. You look exactly like our sacred forest totem. As an offering from us, please accept these Deku Sticks. We also enhance your carrying skills. Nice. Abracadabra. I look at him. You can now pick up more Deku Sticks. You can carry 30 of them. Yeah. So we got a max upgrade on our Deku Sticks. Nice. Uh, now if you come here with the Keaton Mask, uh, you get rupees. I don't know how many rupees, but they'll give you some rupees. Uh, every once in a while, they'll say, oh, we don't like it, though, and you won't get anything out of it. Uh, with the next mask that you get, I'm not going to say what it is, but you'll get rupees from that one as well. Uh, the fourth mask that you get, uh, you bring it here... No, okay, not, not the fourth mask. No, the fourth mask, they don't like it, but they occasionally give you rupees. Let's see... Okay, there's a mask you're going to get through the story, and that one, you bring it back here, and it'll increase your Deku nut capacity. So that, that'll be really nice. Yeah, the one you get through the story, you increase your Deku Nut capacity. A lot of the other ones, you just get minuscule amounts of rupees out of them. Okay, I'm ignoring you guys, because you guys are attacking me for no real good reason. Alright, now we want to go back to the Skull Kid. Or, no. I well. Yeah, his name is the Skull Kid. It's mild spoilers, but really it's not that big of a deal. Uh, you could have done, you could have gone to the that that kid with this mask immediately, but then you would have had to go back to the Epic Mask Shop and borrow the mask from the mask owner. So I figured do it this way, get our upgrade, and we're good to go. Now speak to this guy with wearing the mask. He under that mask, aren't you that Kukiri kid? Quite an unusual mask you have there. He <laughs> he, I like it. It may make me look a little bit tougher. Hey, why don't you give it to me? Sure, why not? Yelza, I'm going to wear this all the time. He just gave you 10 rupees for this 20 rupee mask. You lost money on that deal. Go back to the mask shop and pay 20 rupees for the mask. The difference will have to come out of your pocket. Oh well. But yeah, sometimes that happens. Uh, luckily, it doesn't happen terribly, terribly often, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, let me check on something and I'll be right back. Okay, that's all we can do with the heart pieces and spiders in the Gukiri Forest. 
Uh, so we only have a little more mask stuff and a few more, one or two more heart pieces that we can get right now. So I'm going to meet you guys back at the mask shop real fast. Alrighty, back in the mask shop. We're about to lose 10 rupees, but oh well. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 20 rupees for the mask, gold mask now. Yay, we lost money on that one. Oh well. A mask is a... Okay, you're just going to say the same stuff. I thought he might say something. I always hope that he's going to say something about the new mask that he has in, but I guess not. Hurry up, dude. Okay, so now we have this mask right here. The spooky mask. A sad wooden mask. Let's take it on, shall we? Perfect. You can scare many people with this mask. Cool. Now this one is actually pretty easy to figure out. At least in my opinion it is. Let's go ahead and see if anybody says anything while we have it on. Eee, what's your problem? Okay. Okay, what's your problem? What about you guys? Hey kid, okay. You guys are just always busy, huh? Okay, you're saying the same stuff. What about you guys? So they're all saying, eee, what's your problem? So it looks like they're all kind of scared of the mask a little bit. Or it's making them a little uneasy at the very least. Okay, so just to make life nice and easy on the, how to tell you where this goes, we take this to the kid in the graveyard. Remember he was talking about how he was too cute and not scary enough to be like Mr. Dompe? Yeah, he wants a way to look scary. So we're here to help him out. So I'll go ahead and meet you in the graveyard real fast, and I will be right back. Alright, let's go find that kid stumping around. Ah, there he is. Yeah, he's pretty slow, so he's not that hard to find. Ah! Is Dumpy the Gravekeeper? Huh? Oh, it's just a mask. I get a different kind of fright from that mask than I get from Dumpy. Will you give that mask to me? Sure. I mean, the kid probably doesn't have that much in the way of allowance, so we're probably going to lose money on this, but whatever. With this mask, I'll be just like Dumpy. Here's my money. You sold the 30 rupee mask to a kid for full price? And he didn't mind paying at all? Nice. Let's go back to the mask shop to pay 30 rupees for the mask. You can get the new mask, model 2. Awesome. So yeah, he just pays 30 rupees straight up. If you take that one to the uh, the little dudes in Kokiri Forest with the little thing, they'll give you money every once in a while. Okay, so I remembered what to do in this right here, but we have to turn it into nighttime for him to not bother us. So... Let's turn it into nighttime real fast. And what you're supposed to do here is actually incredibly easy. And you probably figured it out. But I just forgot, so oh well. Well, I guess Dompe is still technically asleep right now. This might be like just the beginning of nighttime. Alright, so let's go ahead and pull you out. Not you. Oh, look, money. Thank you. Alright, so what you gotta do here is you gotta play the sun song. It makes, I think it makes kind of sense because, you know, actually you gotta play the sun song right here, actually. It, it makes kind of sense because they give you a re-dead down here and if you get close enough to the guy and play the song, then the chest will appear anyways. But, then again, you might just do what I did right there, play it at the beginning, not get anything except for the guy being frozen, and be like, oh, there's nothing in here. But, we get something out of this. Something totally worthwhile, so, let's do it. A heart piece, yeah. We've got another heart container, nice. Okay, uh, there is one more heart piece that we can try to get right now. We're not supposed to be able to get it until later in the game, but we might be able to get it with a little bit of trial and error. So we're going to try a few times. If we don't get it, well, at the very least, we tried our best. It's on top of that uh, big tower that we were at earlier. The big, like, watchtower looking area thing. It feels nice having a sixth heart container, doesn't it? It does. And I think we're mostly done with the bugs, so I might go ahead for the area coming up 
get some milk from the cow by playing a Pona song. Because you can just play it as many times as you want, and she'll fill up the bottle each time. It's not like she has like a cooldown on her milk production or anything like that. So you'll get it. It's just takes a few minutes, takes a few seconds to actually play the song each time. All right. So the way to do this is you get really lucky. So I'm not sure if we're actually gonna manage this right here, but you let's see. You get in the corner here, and you. Hold down Z target, and you do a you do a side flip, a side hop. There you go, and that actually worked out pretty good. I got really lucky right there. So you do a side hop, you land on that fence by pure luck, pretty much. It, it, it might take you a few tries, and then you land on this roof, which you're not supposed to be on for some time. Actually, I'm pretty sure. Hey, good to see you again. I'll give you this as a as a memento and we get a heart piece nice I'll be sure to tell you guys the proper way to get this later in the game but yeah uh, this is the this is the early easy way to get it so it worked out pretty good for us and now we get a nice view of the town and everything all right let me check something real fast and I'll be right back alrighty let's go pay up for the for the uh, scary mask there. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay me back 30 rupees. Yay. Payment received. And we got one more mask here. The Bunny Hood. 50 rupees with swinging rabbit ears. Nice. Uh, we can actually do this one, I think after the second dungeon, or maybe even right now. But you don't want to do it for some time, actually. Just keep it in your inventory. Don't bother doing it because you'll get a lot more money if you do it later in the game. Yee! Yeah, what's your... You don't like bunny ears? What do you mean? It's just bunny ears, dudes. You're gonna say the same stuff, right? Oh, rabbit! Speaking of rabbits, I saw a strange man chasing rabbits around. Okay. How irritating. You guys all suck, you know that? Okay, so you're saying the same stuff about the guy chasing rabbits. You're not telling me where he's chasing rabbits. Well, I can't think of anything funny to say. Sorry, kid. I mean, that's fine, I guess. Wow, how nostalgic. That reminds me of when I was a kid. Everything reminds you of when you were a kid, doesn't it? Guy, what are you doing? A mask. When I was a little kid, I also wore masks around. Okay, so, there we go. We're not going to be able to... We, we can turn the mask right now, but like I said, we get way more money if we do it later. So we're not going to do it yet. So that's going to do it for this episode. Because we got a fair amount of stuff. We got a couple heart pieces. We got some inventory upgrades. We got a whole bunch of sculptures. I think we got like five or six sculptures actually. Yeah, there's actually one more in Kakariko Village, but despite the fact that you can actually reach where it's supposed to be at, you can't actually get it yet, so, oh well. But yeah, we did pretty good this episode. Next episode, we are finally going to head over towards Death Mountain and start looking for the Spiritual Stone of Fire. So guys, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Have a good night.